Hello out there, welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing AK Real Color Acrylic Lacquer Paints. But before that, we're going to go over a little bit of business. First of all, I got the winner of the, uh, the two SD kits, and that is DT Warrior. I did the random comment picker and it shows you. I uh, replied to you in a comment, and if you're watching the video, Here's your name here. That's why we're doing it this way. That way uh, it gets rid of the scammers. Uh, anyway, contact me with my email. It's in the description, and uh, we'll go over. We'll verify it's you, and I'll get your details. And I'll get these out to you, these awesome SD kits. Let's get that out of the way, courtesy of Clarksville Hobby. Thanks again, guys, down over there at Clarksville. They provided the kits for the giveaway. We'll put a link to your site in my description also. Also, I want to thank Adam. He uh, drew this for me, this Barbatos picture. He drew my uh, logo for me too, uh, Mazinga, and uh, that's behind me on the wall. I'll find a spot near the bench for this too. Look at that. He drew this for me freehand, and uh, it is Barbatos himself. Thank you again, Adam. This is awesome. Thank you so much for that. Let's put this out of the way. Put that in a safe spot. And I wanted to mention also my Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I started the Patreon so I can answer direct questions where you guys will ask me, can I spray this on top of this? Uh, can I use all clad aluminum and spray uh, Tamiya clear on top? Or well, you, you ask me those kind of questions and I'm answering them in video form, demoing exactly what you're asking. And I put three up yesterday. That's why I was busy yesterday, putting the three up for my patrons. And uh, examples like, can you spray these? Uh, inks, the kind you get at the Hobby Lobbies and the uh, Michaels, the art supply stores. Um, the, can they spray these AK stainless steel and polished aluminum paints over a certain base? And I did that for him. Look at that. That's that AK. And this one, I'll just show you quick. Look at that. Is that awesome? Look at that. It's like plated gold. Look at it. This was also on the Patreon. And um, I'll go into details in a future video as to what that was. Or you can check out the Patreon and see it for yourselves. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining and, uh, and the questions. I love them. Getting them on Patreons, it's awesome. And I'm working on a reel soon at the end of the, these videos with credits that will roll. And I'll start listing my patrons on that. All right, on to this lineup. Now... I have a bunch of paints I've been showing off that I am going to be testing soon, but I do have a backlog, and I've had these a while. And the reason why it came to the forefront is I sprayed these AK primers. They have three colors, white, gray, and black, and I love them. These are fantastic. Uh, however, they're not acrylic lacquers. I believe they're enamels or lacquers. So you clean it with their extreme cleaner, and that's a lacquer. But uh, I believe these are, uh, these, I mean, that, that's an enamel. So I've asked, and I haven't really gotten an answer yet, but um, I think it's a, a lacquer or some kind of solvent. It's not an acrylic, that's for sure. So uh, because that's stuck in my head, AK, I realized I had these put in one of my drawers over here, this AK lineup of paints. And I, I tested them quickly blown away really good stuff these are comparable to most um, your acrylic lacquers on the market they seem a tiny bit nicer to me um, they have a ton of colors all right a ton of colors 247 colors I had to write down how many there are that's a lot that's a lot of colors they cover the military range modern World War II and then you have your standard colors I'll show you in a second what that is now these are comparable to Aqueous from Mr. Hobby, Tamiya, Acrylic Lacquers, SMS. Look at that. This is a test that's coming up, the pearls. SMS is an acrylic lacquer. Oh, hold on. You can see it right here. Acrylic lacquer. Yep. And Mr. Paint. I call him Mr. Paint, uh, but it's a MRP. And this is out of Slovakia, I believe. Yep, this is out of Slovakia. This is an acrylic lacquer, too. Let me show it for you right there. There it is acrylic lacquer paint for airbrushing. These are pretty thin, these here. So that's what I have on my inventory, these four that are acrylic lacquers. Um, very popular blend in the hobby world. 
It's still a solvent. It acts like a solvent, but it, it has half, see, half of the obnoxious smell, which I guess is uh, a big deal. Um, but with these, let's get some of these down here. Okay, you'll see on the side, you will see real color. This is the World War II line. It's just, it's a numbering system. But that's World War II. This is modern, the only modern one I had. Modern. This is Russian uh, cockpit. It's a beautiful turquoise. I love this color. And that's the only reason I bought that one color. They have clears. See that? And it just says clear on the side for that. They have regular clears. Gloss and flat. We'll be doing a separate test for those. And the bottom row is your standards. Let me get these out of the way. Standard. Your black, your white, reds. You know, different kinds of yellows. Orange, pure blue, blue, pure green, gunmetal, pale blue, aluminum. So that's what you got there. Now the great thing about these is is they both airbrush great and they brush on great. And uh, I will show you examples of, a, of it brushed on. And we're going to airbrush. Uh, I'll do three of them. There's no sense in spraying all of these because this isn't the whole lineup. The purpose when I show every color is because I own every color, and you're going to see every color. With this, we're just going to check their performance. We're going to see how they spray, how they brush, and um, and look at the results. That's what we're going to do. And it's up to you guys to pick the colors you want. As I said, 247 colors as of today to choose from. It's quite a bit. Now, you can get some of them in these boxes that are specific. German Army, 43 to 45. There's only three colors in here. Clear, the basics, the green, orange, and red. So you get these little boxes with some of them in it. Um, I'd go individually if I was you. They sell anywhere between $3.59 and $3.99. I'll put links below to a couple of retailers so you guys can uh, pick out the ones you want for yourself. Um, it's a pretty reasonable price, actually. Uh, for the performance you're going to get, I'm impressed. It's a, it's a really good performing paint. Um, they don't have a strong smell at all. I will smell it again. Not that you guys have, have a smell of vision. It really, really has no smell. I mean, it's, it's a little slight smell. Whereas Tamiya has that strong, they call it the sweet smell of Tamiya paints. And uh, if you guys work with Tamiya, uh, those Tamiya paints, you'll know just what I'm talking about. But these almost have no smell at all. Just a slight smell. And um, that tells you the formula is uh, a bit different from the others. So now they have their own thinner. It's real color, high compatibility thinner. And it says on the side, uh, especially designed for the real colors. Here we go. Well, high compatibility is also uses with um, high compatibility is also compatible to use with other brands. So not just the typical thinner, especially formulated for creating the perfect consistency. So this doesn't smell strong either. It has a bit of a ammonia ammonia uh, uh, alcohol smell to me. But if you can thin these paints that I've been testing, the way you thin these, you can thin these. You use the same system, meaning you can use alcohol, isopropyl. You can use Mr. Color Leveling, my favorite. You can use theirs, um, any lack of thin, any, any hobby lack of thinner. I don't like to use the strong stuff. Any hobby lack of thinner will work fine. Also, the uh, rubbing alcohol. Um, for this test, maybe I'll use one of each. Maybe I'll use the, the alcohol the mister and theirs and uh, we'll go over the results in that because I'm going to spray I think I'm going to do three colors I'm going to do an opaque I'm going to do a metallic and I'm going to do a clear so uh, pull out a clear here what is under here gunmetal aluminum let's see yeah, gunmetal looks good all right push this back and I'll pick a solid color here maybe the blue and uh, that's it so we're going to spray on a solid a clear and a, and a metallic and um, from there, we will go over the results. I'll show you how to thin them. You're going to thin them at least 50-50, 50, 50, 50, 5 parts paint, 5 parts thinner. All right? So I'm going to spray my spoons. We'll go over some that are primered and some of the plastic. We'll see how durable it is. It's really not going to stick well to the plastic, I, I, I'm guessing. But it's supposed to be a durable paint, so we'll find out. So we'll put some over this uh, blue piece. And we'll see how uh, how it covers. So let me pause the camera. Let me get what I need here. Let's thin these up. And uh, we'll take it from there. All right, guys. Here we are. We're back. Let me get my oh, man. Let me get my paint shaker. That thing is heavy. So we're going to shake this up a little bit here. 
Let's flip her over. Oops. Again, I'm shaking her up. I get a lot when I do a lot of uh, testing. I just, oh, look at that. It's stuck to it. Look at that. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So we're going to pour some in. Let me show you how we're going to thin these out. Now, we don't need a ton. We're only going to spray a spoon or a couple of pieces here. So we're going to use the stick against... There we go. Always, always wipe the edge of the cup. All right, here we go. All right, so the first one, let's go ahead and use their thinner. Um, it's kind of thin, this color. It's, it's a little thick. See it? So let's thin that out. We'll cut it in half. That's about 50-50. Let's see what we get. I'm trying to get the right consistency for you guys here. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to drag it up the cup, see if it leaves a trail behind as it runs down. It does. It can go even thinner than this if we want. We can really stretch this out, but that looks good. 50-50 is the minimum, I would say. So let's go ahead and do gunmetal. All right. Let's get this out of the way. Now the gunmetal is much thicker. Can you see it? Much thicker, probably because it's metallic. So let's go ahead and dump this in. So this we got to go. I would do 40-60 on the thinning, for sure. Yeah, I would go 40-60 on this. Let's do that. Let me wipe this off. All right. All right, so let's this. Let's go ahead and try alcohol. All right, let's see what that is. That's about... A little more than half, 55, 60. There we go. Now this is going to dry a little bit quicker. The alcohol does tend to dry it fast. If you guys want to get your work done quick, use any, an alcohol-based thinner. But then again, it, it's sort of not going to have time to level off where well, you want it to take its time to level off. All right, I don't think we need to shake the clear red. With the red, we're going to put in the mister. Let me get a paint stirrer here, guys. Hold on. Cut them in half. I stretch these babies right out. Yeah, this doesn't need to be stirred at all. All right, here we go. Don't know how much we're going to need of this. I don't even think I have to pour a ton in. It looks like this. And this will use the, uh, the mister leveling thinner. So that way you guys seen all three. I just thinned all three using three different... Let me wipe this off. Yeah, got it. All right, that's three colors, three methods of thinning. How's that? Here we go. All right. Doing this long enough, I can do it by eye at this point. And that's it. Now to clean out the airbrush, we're going to use lacquer thinner. Standard cleaning process. Blow through some lacquer, then back flush it, and then blow it out again. And there you go. And we'll leave a trail. Well, see, it? it leaves a nice trail right there. So we'll spray this maybe over some chrome and see if we get a nice finish on that. And uh, that's it. We're ready to go. The first one has oops. The first one has their thinner in it. The second one has. Uh, Mister in it. I mean, the second one has uh, alcohol in it, and the third one has Mister in it. So, let's go over the bench. We'll spray some spoons. We'll spray this part. We'll put some uh, this over uh, a chrome. See if we get a nice candy finish. And uh, let's go see how this paint is. Head over to the Pace Spray Booth. And let's check this out. All right, guys. Here we are. First color up will be this Russian cockpit turquoise RC206. 
already in the cup. We're going to use my Extreme Patriot 105 from Badger. I don't use this often enough, and it's a really good airbrush. So let's go ahead and use it today. It's got the high trigger, which uh, really is comfortable. They call it the high roller. So let's go ahead with a standard white spoon. Blow it off. And here we go. You can actually put this on, on pretty heavy to start with. It's a, it's a lacquer, really, and uh, most solvents are really forgivable paints. And there you go. It goes on nice. Now, I believe most of their paints dry flat or a satin finish like uh, Vallejo, but uh, that's what the clears are for, I guess. Let's see if it can cover this. I don't know if it will. Let's try it. Oh, not bad. There goes the old compressor, my tootie. I hooked it up. It's sitting next to the fortress. I don't want it to... Uh, I want to use both equal time, you know? It's hard if this thing's bouncing. It's these stupid steel things. Uh, well, it looks like it covered the blue. Look at it. Look at that. Fantastic. All right, so I don't know how we're going to do over... Let's try it over primer. It covers quick, too. Look. Guys, there's no smell. Barely a smell. Barely a smell. All right, let's let these dry. I'll clean this out. Flush some lacquer thinner through. Back flush it. And shoot it out again. We should be good to go in a minute. All right, next up is... Gunmetal. Number 15. This was thinned with the isopropyl alcohol. Let's see what it does. We'll go with uh, white plastic first. It's having trouble, so I'm wondering if I didn't thin it enough. So let's go ahead and uh, drop a little more thinner in this. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, I am back. I had to thin it out a little bit more than usual. And... Uh, Let's try it over black. Here it is over the white. Let's try it over black. I know these these uh, metallics do like to look good over black. I realized it afterwards. But and it kind of matches. It looks pretty good there. It's hard to see here. We'll have to check it out at the bench. So let's go ahead and try it over white again, so you guys can see it. I'm trying to, yeah, see, it, it's, it takes a lot more to get to show up versus the black, obviously. So, if you have to, I guess you're going to have to use black primer. But we'll see how it dries. I know these are, these actually will dry probably to that matte consistency, that matte finish. So we'll see what ends up with that. Anyway, it's a good looking uh, gunmetal. So, all right, let me clean this out. We'll do the last color, we'll do the clear, and then we'll uh, go over the results. All right, guys, I switched over to a smaller needle. So I grabbed my Grex, which was closest by. This is the 0.3. The uh, Patriot had a 0.5 in it. But uh, let's go ahead and try it on a chrome spoon. We'll try it on this uh, plated. What is this? This is uh, this all clad? I think it's all clad. All right, here we go. Ah, nice. Real nice. Look at that. Wow, you can see me in the, in the reflection in it. Hold on, here we go. Oh, it's even nicer over this. Much deeper red. Almost that Iron Man red. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Look at that. Um, I don't know how it's going to look. Let's try it over different colors. Let me see. 
I got a little bit of a cup full here, so let's try it out in a few other colors here. Over purple. That changes up quite a bit here. The purple is completely gone. I don't know. Let's try it over this piece. This is the piece I did uh, the Sotar, where I showed how to do fine details on the Sotar. I did the edging and stuff over the chrome. So let's see, because it's chrome, I figured, hey, it looks pretty cool already. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Check that out. Look, how cool is that? Wow, look at that. Hey, the clairs are really good. I don't think they have a lot to choose from, but boy, what's there is worth having. Very nice. All right, let me clean this out. And we'll go over the results and wrap this up. All right, guys, here we are with the results, and uh, quite good. Um, it sprays on even. It dries quickly. It's durable. And um, I did want to show you the red was airbrushed over gray primer, white plastic. This is the signal red, I believe. But I want to show you I brushed it on so you can see it brushed. See it? This is where it's brushed on. And this is airbrushed. See the brush strokes a little bit in there? That's how good it brushes. That's straight out of the jar. I didn't thin it. You can use uh, Tamiya's Retarder or uh, Mr. Color's Retarder. Either one will work. Look at that. And here is the aluminum over here. Brushed on. That's straight out of the jar. Oops, and this is thinned a little bit. Not bad. Now you're not you're not going to be painting a giant area, you know. I, I like to see how the brush strokes come, particularly out of the jar, and then thinned a little bit. So really nice, particularly if you're going to do little details in an engine compartment and stuff. Really good. It just brushes on really good. So you're getting two great types of paint: a brushing and an airbrush in the same jar. That look how good that is. So I want to show you that, that I brushed it. I brushed it using this Tamiya Your modeling brush, HF number two. That's what I used. So let's go ahead and uh, look it over and then uh, wrap this up. This is over plastic. This is over primer. I put P for primer. And this is over that blue piece. This is how good the pigments are. Look at this blue piece. And I didn't do any primer. I went over that blue. And look at that. Look at that. I kept the detailing. It's durable. Uh, let's try uh, some masking tape. Now this hasn't dried a long time, but I know the red's been sitting here. I did that during the week. So this is not going anywhere at all. How about the brush? Yeah, see? you got you got to put it over primer. See it brushed over plastic? It's got to go over primer if you want that durability. So this was just painted on within the hour yeah see you gotta let it dry see that was over uh, was this over the plastic yeah it's over the plastic so you gotta go over primer and let it sit and uh, oops and that's where your durability is gonna come in and absolutely for sure you gotta have a primer for durability but it's a wonderful paint look at it it's just so smooth uh, really impressed. Here is the gunmetal. That's over black. This is over white. I'm trying to get it so the light can reflect on it. And the clear is really nice also. This is over a chrome spoon. This is over, uh, I think it was all clad chrome. Or Dur a Duralumin. I think this is a Duralumin test I did, the tough. Look at that. I mean, you can see the difference when you over the bright chrome and the darker chrome over black. And this is it over uh, just the white spoon. <laughs> Completely different. But a unique look in and of itself, I guess. But uh, I really do like the paint. Uh, don't go by the, the paint peeling off here. It's over, to, over plastic. You, you gotta, and these plastic spoons are really, I've been having trouble with them lately. I've been cleaning them, and they still have an oil on them. I can't get rid of it for nothing. But uh, you can see how nice it is over the true plastic here of the Bandai pieces. 
So, uh, really good lineup of paints. I'm only showing you how to uh, how they perform. I couldn't really test all of them, as I said. 250 colors to choose from. Quite a bit. They range from 259 to 299, depending on the retailer. I'll put a couple of links below to some retailers uh, where you can get them here in the U.S. And they're easily available in Europe because that's where the company is from. Uh, I will be testing their clears, and I will be testing these primers on video very soon. Um, I used the Extreme Patriot for uh, two, for two of the colors, and then I had switched over. I wanted to use a smaller needle for the clear, and uh, this is a .3. Wonderful airbrush. I still love this Grex airbrush. I use it quite a bit behind the scenes. I, I do like that airbrush a lot. And I'll put links to both the airbrushes, too, uh, on below. And um, anyway, guys, there you go. There it is. There's the test. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, many more tests to come, uh, including uh, how I achieved this. Look at that. And uh, that'll be coming up soon. And I got that big pearl test from SMS coming up. A lot of colors. These I am going to show every color, all 30 of them, or 28, whatever I have. Yeah, I got the whole lineup, and because of that, I'm going to show you every color in the lineup. And um, that's it. That's it. We're all set. Uh, one of my favorite colors. That's why I painted this. I love this color, and I'm looking for Patronus Green. This is kind of close. If any of my viewers know where I can get Patronus Green, Patronus is the Mercedes racing color, and Patronus is the oil company that sponsors Mercedes in F1 racing. Uh, I think there's some in Europe, but it... it, it they had to be mixed for me, and I had to wait, you know, months. If you guys know anybody that has Patronus Green, it's kind of close to this. Uh, please shoot me a comment below where I can get Patronus Green because I'm building a, a Gundam based on that F1 Mercedes racing car, and I need Patronus Green so I can complete the project. Anyway, if you guys know, let me know. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful rest of your weekend. We'll see you during the week with another video, and have a great day.